Approving grazing reserve means you are calling for civil war. Uriwa wants Buhari. Plus, controversial Sultan of Edo says I am loyal to Oba of Bini. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you. Depending on the location you're watching us from, a very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update. Your WhatsApp channel where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video, do take a step further, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's go straight up into the main news. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, on Friday warned of an impending civil war in the country over what it described as President Muhammadu Buhari's grazing reserve for his kinsmen. Muhammadu Buhari had during the week approved with dispatch a review of 368 grazing sites across 25 states in Nigeria. This Uriwa has described as an inevitable invitation to the next civil war to happen in the country. The group has now demanded that Muhammadu Buhari perish the illegal and toxic idea, adding that except the president is not seen an agenda to destabilize Nigeria. The Human Rights Advocacy Group said this in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Comrade Onwubiko Emanuel, and the national media director, Ms. Yusuf Zenab. The advocacy group wondered how President Muhammadu Buhari is bent on coercing native people to surrender their ancestral land to his kinsmen, Fulani headsmen. The right group also accused the President Muhammadu Buhari of having favored his kinsmen since 2015 when he assumed office and failing to arrest or prosecute suspected and Fulani headsmen who have allegedly killed over 6,000 Nigerians since 2015. This is the first time in over 60 years of Nigeria's independence that Nigeria is forced with a fatalistic administration whose head of executive arm is doing everything outside of the law to arm twist other ethnicities just so that the president's kinsmen are awarded the ancestral land for their private commercial business of grazing cattle, Uriwa noted. The human rights group therefore asked President Muhammadu Buhari to desist from taking such step and doing things that will plunge Nigeria into a long-drawn civil war. Uriwa further accused President Muhammadu Buhari of bridging his constitutional oath of office which prohibits him from using his office to confirm unlawful advantage on his people due to predestinary reasons. Uriwa also dismissed the directive of President Muhammadu Buhari on the so-called grazing site as an unmitigated unconstitutional act given that the Eastern Land Use Law Governing Land Administration gives the ownership of landed assets in each state of the Federation to the state government. The group also noted that for the avoidance of that and from the abundance of scholarly submission, Mr. President should note that the Land Use Act enacted in 1978 was meant to standardize land administration system across the country. Meanwhile, the leader of the Shahar Arab in Edo State, Alaji Idris Adano, has cleared the air on the controversy that has surrounded the purported plan to coronate a Sultan of Shara Arab in Benin City, which has been condemned by the public and the state government issuing a ban on the coronation. Speaking to journalists in Benin City on Friday morning, Idris Adano, who is at the center of the controversy, declared their absolute loyalty to the state government and the Oba of Benin, who he said is their father. 
he also noted that the whole issue was misunderstood because of the language that was used all the tribes from the north who are resident in Edo state are all under the second Auswa, but we all now have our individual sakin like those of Kanuri, Nupe and others. In our Shoa language, Sutan is our own sakin and we only wanted to celebrate my appointment as the head of Shoa Arab in Benin city because we are the second largest local ethnic group from the north. We are all under Sakin Asawu of Benin City, who gave us an introductory letter which we submitted before the governor of the state, the Oba of Benin, and the secretary to the state government. We are all law-abiding citizens and under the law of the state, we are also loyal to our real father, the Oba of Benin, who is father to all of us. We apologize to the state government for the mess up and as law-abiding citizens, we have also cancelled all the activities we wanted to do as directed by the state government. Collaborating this position, the Sekin Awusa of Benin, Alaji Adamu Isa, said the whole incident was because of the choice of language. He therefore said, they are a community resident in Edo and they have a large percentage of their people here too. They are into cattle breeding and other businesses. The thing is a misuse of language from them. About five months ago, they came to me that since they are large, they want to have a traditional head. So I told them to go and look for someone among them who is going to be their leader. And so they came with one Idris Adrano and then some issues came up then I asked them to go and resolve it. I gave them a date to come back and then we did the Toban of their leader so that in case we have issues concerning them, we know who to hold responsible. The whole issue was misunderstood. I was born and bred here in Benin. My father was born and bred here in Benin. So I understand the tradition and custom of the land and the laws of the state. It was just a misuse of language. Sotan in our own language means Sekin. So guys, here we have it. We've seen the group, the Human Rights Association's group, um, Uriwa, giving Buhari a warning that approving um, open grazing in 25 states, giving 368 reserve for cattle breeding or cattle rearing is another way of calling for uh, a second civil war in the country because you can't go to a state and um, ask the people to forfeit their ancestral land which has been given to them by their forefathers so they have um, advised the president to revoke this um, um, thing he has done so as not to cause problem in the country because no native is going to agree to such and besides we know that some Nigerians have been um, saying that they have banned um, open grazing, especially in the south part of um, Nigeria and also the middle beds. Talking about Benue State, um, they have really banned um, the open grazing in their state because of the killings that have taken place in the past six years. Over 6,000 Nigerians have died in the end of this Fulani headsman. And then the president is coming out to say that he has approved. 368 open grazing reserve in 25 states like some nigerians have already been saying or have started saying rather i wonder where um, or which of the state um, this open grazing uh, would take place because most of the governor especially the southern governor would not agree to this and hereby leading to a civil war war according to uriwa um, warning buari also we saw the Controversial Sultan of Edo State, who um, was supposed to be crowned or coronated today, um, coming out to say that um, the whole issue was a misunderstanding and it was due to um, the use of language. That um, Sultan in their language means Sekin. They just wanted to have a leader of the northern people who live in Benin so as to know who to hold responsible when something goes wrong but they have come out to apologize 
to the Oba of Benin and also to the state government and also to the people of Benin Kingdom and hereby they have cancelled the coronation or the celebration that was supposed to have taken place on Friday. But some Nigerians have already concluded that this whole thing is a, a plan work by the Northerners in order to come and settle in the south to be able to take over the lands of the south. But guys, what do you think? Do you think that they are really sorry um, when they apologize and say they are sorry or they are only trying to cover the grants? Again, about Uriwa, one in Buari um, consigning the civil war is about to start. Do you think that Buari approving 368 reserve in 25 states of the um, country? And of course, this 25 states is the state where they have APC government which um, the South South is part of it. Do you think that it will lead to a civil war or it will lead to a war among the Fulani S-men and the South South region? Please drop your comment about what you think in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on our social media platforms. Like us on Facebook and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Also check us out on our website www djmtv.news until we come your way again do not forget this is dj mtv daily news update thank you for watching till the end DJ, 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 DJ,